Hey everybody, and welcome to us playing more Commander. All right, for our Commander video this week, I have chosen Lord Windgrace as my Commander. Yeah, and I have. Uh, we're playing the other half of the Commander uh, 2018. Precons. Yes. And so I am playing Sahili Rai. Sahili the Gifted in this case. Wow. Um, please pronounce it how it's supposed to be pronounced. Lord Windgrace. Lord Windgrace. Lord Windgrace. He's a lovely kitty cat. His plus two is discard a card, then draw a card. If a land card is discarded this way, draw an additional card. So his plus two can often be draw two cards. Minus three, return up to two target land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ultimate, destroy up to six target non-land permanents, then create six 2-2 two, two green cat warrior wow. creature tokens with forest wall. Wow. Lord, so many Lord cats. Lord Windgrace is very fast. Kitties. Yeah, he's great. Sahili uh, costs two blue red for a four loyalty planeswalker. Her plus one says create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. Her other plus one. Ooh, two plus nice. ones. Uh, the next spell you cast this turn costs one less to cast for each artifact you control as you cast it. And minus seven, for each artifact you control, create a token that's a copy of it. Those tokens gain haste. Exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. Nice. Cool. The thing that's pretty awesome about these decks, too, is that once when you buy them, you're not given only one choice for your commander. It comes with two foil additional commanders that you can use or shuffle into your deck to play with as normal. And there's also, by the way, a normal size version of Sahili yes. and Lord Windgrace. So you don't have to use the yeah, giant ones. Yeah, here's my ones. regular little Sahili. Uh, I used like to use this as the big one is like a placeholder to show like, oh, this is where she's been and maybe use like a die to be like, this is how many times that I've cast her yeah. because it affects the casting cost. Yeah, great. And then I have like the regular size card right on top of it. So then I can be like, oh, when I cast it, it's out on the battlefield. Sure. And this is like her little command home. Oh, that's cute. Um, because I have giant posters of myself in my home yeah so i assume mm -hmm. that that's just how it works yeah that's that's right uh my other two they come with other these other two options like you said um mine is brudeclad cool. telcor engineer uh four blue red for a four four legendary artifact creature artificer creature tokens you control have haste at the beginning of combat on your turn create a two one blue mirror artifact creature token then you may choose a token you control if you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. Wow. Wow. So you can like make uh make a like a thopter and then make a bunch of other servos and then just be like, oh, just kidding, with Brudeclad, all of my servos become become thopters. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, one of my other ones here is Gyrus Walker of Corpses, which if that wasn't your nickname in college, you're doing it. <laughs> Probably right. X, a black, red, green for a zero, zero. What? Hydra. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, oh, oh, excuse me. It enters the battlefield with a number of plus one, plus one counters on it equal to the amount of mana spent to cast it. So it can be huge because this deck is great at ramping. Yeah. Whenever it attacks, you may exile target creature card with lesser power from your graveyard. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that card and that's tapped and attacking. Exile the token wow. and end combat. Wow. Also, so this comes in with like counters equal to what you paid for it yeah so i think that means that even if you have to pay two more to cast it from your command zone because you've cast it before you still that just means you get two more counters yeah like you don't have the option to cast it for cheaper which is too bad but like you're it just means you'll have a bigger creature awesome uh my other one is tanos urza's apprentice blue red for a one three legendary creature human artificer haste blue red tap copy target activated or triggered ability you control from an artifact source you may choose new targets for the copy awesome nice and the other one that this deck comes with is thontis the war weaver three black red green for a five five spider Vigilance and Reach, OBS, it's a spider. All creatures attack Spitter. each combat if able. So that's great. I could wow. force your deck to attack um, with your tinier creatures. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Thonis, the Warweaver. Wow. Really neat. Okay, so what is your deck's deal? My deck's deal is making a bunch of of tokens yeah of little artifact tokens uh which i'm i'm into yeah and you have artifacts all about artifacts yeah 
Uh, so things that like cost less if you have artifacts or things that uh, use artifacts and get bigger, things that create copies of artifacts, all sorts of artifact synergies. Cool. Uh, let's see. Just looking through it, I also... So I pulled out... Uh, and a couple of other cards. There's Chief of the Foundry, uh, which other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So I can make a bunch of Thopters or Servos, which are just one ones. But with the Chief of the Foundry, oh, nice. they're all two twos, which is pretty great. Um, and then I also have, uh, I just remember this card being previewed during when these oh, commanders yeah. were coming out. Varchild, Betrayer of Kjeldor, Kjeld, Kjeldor, Yeldor. Kjeldor, two and a red for a 3-3 three, three legendary creature, Human Knight. Whenever Varchild, Betrayer of Kjeldor, deals combat damage to a player, that player creates that many 1-1 one, one red survivor creature tokens. Survivors your opponents control can't block, and they can't attack you or a planeswalker you control. So they just do nothing. They're just there. When Varchild leaves the battlefield, gain control of all survivors. Nice. Yeah. That card's cool. Also, Magnifying Glass. Why? <laughs> Your favorite card. Those of you that listen to the podcast know that this is maybe my all-time creepiest card. I cannot handle it. How are you even I holding it? I right cannot handle you it. Are I'm not thinking about it. it though. I'm holding it away from me. <laughs> like I see the back. I see the back of the sleeve right now, and that's great. That's what I can handle. I cannot look at it. It's not cool by me. Fair. So Lord Windgrace's deal is that we are ramping, we're playing tons of land, and we're playing cards that take advantage of the ramp that you're doing in the game. For example, you've got cards like Explosive Vegetation, which is actually really Ooh. critical because not only are you ramping yourself by searching up two land cards from your library, you're also straight up putting them onto the battlefield tapped, which triggers Landfall, which we have a lot of in this deck. For example, one of the best Landfall creatures of all time, Ugh. Avenger of Zendikar, what a card. is in this deck where you get to create plant tokens and then... More landfall, put counters on your plant tokens, make them giant. There's also Scoot Mob in this deck. Oh, you love Scoot Mob. I love Scoot Mob because it's got cute right in the name, and it is. And once you're ramping, this thing is just getting plus one, plus one counters on it like there's no tomorrow. And for your opponent, there might not be. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making fun of me? I feel like I do finger guns a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never seen you do a finger gun. I just did one at the beginning of this video. And welcome to us playing more Commander. Oh, I didn't even notice. Wow. <laughs> I feel very understood. I feel very worthwhile right now. All right. Let's do this. Let's battle. I won the die roll, so I'm going to go first. And first things first, Lord Windgrace creates a forest. Does he create a forest? He uh, himself this island. creates a forest. Yeah. He's got lots of powers, Megan. Okay. I had the perfect draw. Explore. Yeah. I can play an additional land this turn, and I get to draw a card. It's pretty good. Ooh. Pretty good. That seems like a good land to play. Command Tower. Capture right. any color of my commander's color identity. I'll play a Command Tower as well. Rude! And I'm going to play a Loyal Apprentice. 2-1 Haste. Uh, if I control my commander at the beginning of combat, I get a 1-1 one, one Hasty Thopter. But I'll just attack you for two right now. I'll go to 28. Well, so whenever you have your commander, that thing's going to make a Thopter at the start of yeah, combat? that's right. That seems rude. Whoops, that's not a land. That is a land, though. Yeah. And that's I'm going to play my 4-4 four, four for 4. Well, Zendikar Incarnate. That's a big buddy. Power equal to the number of lands I control, so we could get even bigger and buddier. Well, I mean, that you know seems I mean? like a likely thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my deck's deal, after all. Um. All right. I'm going to uh, go ahead and play... Hmm. I'm going to play this mountain, and then I'm going to play uh, Ethereum Sculptor. Artifact oh. spells cost one less to cast. Cool. And then I will cast this Endless Atlas, Atlas which right now does nothing. Uh, I can tap, pay two and tap it to draw a card only if I control three or more lands with the same name. Oh, right okay. now, all three of my lands have different <laughs> names, so that's great. Well, you know, great. that's so that they don't get confused in school. That's true. All right. Go for it. All right. Gosh, Ethereum Sculptor. We played with that card before. In Modern Masters, was it? Um, right? What am I thinking yeah, of? Yeah, I think that's correct. Let's... I think that's when it was. Um, let's do this, I let's guess. Let's do what? 
Explosive vegetation. Okay. I'm going to go get two basic land cards and put them on the battlefield tap. Wow. I'm only going to search through the top half of my... What do I want, though? A swamp for sure. And maybe another mountain. You have so many lands. I do. Look at this ramp. We're ramping. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're ramping. We're <laughs> ramping, rolling. It was a, a lot of people don't know a pred 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 pretz word. Predecessor to rock and roll was in fact ramp and roll. Ramp and roll. <laughs> ramp and roll, everybody. Where you played, you know, rock and music, but on a ramp. That's what it meant. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. The only downside to Lord Windgrace that I can find so far is that I feel like I'm going to have to shuffle my library a bunch. <laughs> that is a decided downside, seeing as I think we can both agree that Commander is great and has a lot of wonderful qualities. Its worst quality is by far having to shuffle yes. a 100 card deck. Yes, that is accurate. Like, with, with certainty. Okay, so now I have six lands, so now this little fellow is a 6-4. Yeah. So it's going to attack your face. I take six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. 24. Go. Right. Well, Lord Wingrace has untap. a plan, and it involves lands and attacking. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Well, anyways, moving on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this mountain. Nice. And then I'm going to tap four, and I'm going to cast Sahili <gasps> the Gifted. Sahili's coming out. She's here, um, and she has four loyalty to start out. She says, plus one, create a one-one colorless servo artifact creature token, or plus one, the next spell you cast this turn costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. Whoa. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cast, or yeah, put her up to uh, five and make a The servo. softer, oh, a servo. She makes a servo, okay. Yeah, she makes a servo. I have so many tokens. Servo. So the there's servo her servo begins. friend. And then I'm going to move to combat, and this friend makes a thopter, since now ah, I control yes. my commander. Correct. Poor Zendigar yeah. incarnate doesn't even have trample. Here we go. Thopter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, move to combat. Yes. And I am going to attack with... Um, Hmm. Let me, I'll just attack with these two friends. I I'll accept attack you for three. your attack. I'm at 25. Uh, all right, go ahead. Okay. All right, beasts, we've got to assemble. There's a Thopter army happening over there. Well, this is what we're going to do, because this is what Lord Windgrace would approve of. Rampaging Bailoths. Wow. 6-6 six, six, Trample Landfall. <laughs> Whenever I play a land... Um, I create a 4-4 green it's beast. whenever a land enters, enters the, the battlefield, battlefield. Yeah. which is, uh, you know. It could be relevant here. For things like explosive vegetation. All right. Wow. Rocky tar pit. Make a beast. Let's make a beast. So many beasts. Okay, I've got cat warriors, plants, worms. Where are my beasts? Uh, Turn them over. Are they over here? Oh, here it is. Beast. Wow. What's nice about these decks is they do, in fact, come with these tokens, so we yeah. can just, like, procure them. Um, okay, so now I have a beast, and now I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a seven, four, who yeah. will attack. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Go. <laughs> um, all right. I'll draw. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no. It's never something I like to hear when Megan says it that way. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start by playing a mountain. And huh. I currently control three artifacts. Oh, no. Four if I move to combat uh, and make a thopter. So I'm just trying to figure out how many things I can play. Um. Uh, Let's see. How many things I you have, can play? Yeah. How many things can I cast? for me. I'm just going to look how at my lovely tokens over here. Uh, I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move to combat. Okay. I'm going to make a thopter. Yep. I have one. I have another one over here if you need one. 
Oh, right now I'm good, but thank you. Here's another thopter. Uh, and I'll attack you in the air for two. 23. Yeah. And then, let's see. The next thing that I'm going to do is <laughs> two, three, four. So I could have a spell that costs four less. Wow. What an ability. Sahili, the gifted, more like Sahili, the bargain basement. <laughs> That actually doesn't seems sound good. Hurtful? No, yeah, like that does not seem good at all. The thrifty shopper? No. No. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plus Sahili for the next spell you cast this turn costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. Um and you then even cast Inclua Leviathan on me. Two, three, four. No, I'm gonna cast Soul of New Phyrexia. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what does this do? Um it's a six six trample. I can pay five permanents you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Five exile it from my graveyard. Uh, permanents I control gain indestructible until end of turn. So it can be indestructible. Oh my gorb. It and can make everything trampling six six yeah. everything indestructible. Yeah. And you can just get it back. Yeah. For one or or exile it and then okay I see. Uh, hold on and then oh. I'm gonna draw a card. Yep. Because now I control enough lands. Three mountains. Uh, okay and now I'll pass the turn. Okay, that soul of new Phyrexia is a little scary. So what are we going to do, everyone? Um, all right, swamp. We'll make another beast. I don't have any more beasts, so this is what gonna be the way that it is. Or else I can play something else face down. Um, oh, I have one. Do I have any more than that? Because there's about to be another. One. Oh no! <laughs> so many beasts. I'm gonna play Cultivate. I search for up to two basic no. land cards, reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield tapped, and the other into my hand. All right. Okay. Well, there aren't any more beasts now. Okay. Let's play. You know, let's put out a forest beast and one into my hand. Why don't we get another mountain? <laughs> I mean, you have so many lands in play. I know. Look at this. I see it. Ramp. Ramp City, USA. Ramp which is City. Like not even a city, but just a series of off ramps. So like you drive up to the town and you're like, okay, I'm going to get into the town. And you take the exit. And then just another exit happens immediately. And you just go around in a circle forever. Oh, wait. I also had this for this. So I still have one Oh my god. <laughs> you cost me one to cast the soul of Nuphorexia. Oh boy. That cost one mana, everybody. Okay. So now I have five dollars. Which by the way I referred I sometimes refer to my mana as dollars, just to be dumb, but in real life the other day I referred to money as mana. <laughs> so Okay. Just FYI. Okay, so um I have five dollars. I could cast Lord Wind Grace. Yeah. I mean, that would be kind of fun. I could also attack. The soul of new Phyrexia is r ridiculous, but it cannot g give stuff indestructible until you have five mana untapped. Um, so I guess I'll attack with these with these t two s cards. <laughs> Are you attacking me or Sahili? Ooh, great question. <laughs> great question. Um... I'll put one at Sahili, I guess, and let's do Sahili and you. Hmm. Oh, okay. Fuck. All right. Great. So these Th trade. trade Dies. That dies. Sahili is untouched. Um, how many? How many cards in my graveyard? One, two, three, four only. Five, six, seven. I'll cast Lord Windgrace. You know why not? <laughs> Got it. Oh, I just have a giant one. My yeah. my little one's in the bag, so he's cast. <laughs> And all plus. So Lord Windgrace goes up to seven. I 
discard a card and draw a card. If a land card is discarded this way, draw an additional card. We knew we had one. I'm going to put the mountain there. And then I'm going to draw, draw two. two. Sick. Nice. All right, go ahead. Okay. What's this one? That's It's seven. Right. Lord Reading Grace is at seven. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hmm. That's a one, everyone. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a seven on a six-sided die. Let's see. What do we want to do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to combat and I'll make a thopter. Yep. Um, and I... Uh, let me think about this. Five... Before I attack, even. Ooh. Uh, still at the beginning of combat. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. Do it. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then I will attack. Uh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I will attack. Not, not at, at all. all. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and play this buried rune as my lion for the turn. And then, huh. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and um, plus Sahili to make a servo. Is that right? Uh, who knows? What is right anyways? Wow. Big question. Big question. Where's my servo? Oh, here it is. Servo. Okay. And then I will cast this Hedron Archive. Oh, nice. Um, and then I'll pass back to you. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what I think I want to do here... Commander is so complicated. Yes. Um, I think this is why people enjoy this game. <laughs> um, first, let's... What do I want to do? Oh, Sahili! Guess I probably shouldn't do that yet, though, right? Right? All right? I can't um, see what's happening, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking to my own brain. Let's um, let's plus Lord Windgrace again. Mm -hmm. Up to nine. So discard my land card for the turn, which is this swamp. Draw two. Wow, that's like kind of disgusting. Um, okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, yep, yep, got it, got it. Um. Okay, next step. Let's attack. As aforementioned, it's what we do. Yeah. Um, this little 4-4 four four is attacking, too. Okay. And we'll attack, you know, two at you and two at Sealy. <laughs> hmm. Um. Keep the pressure on, you know what I mean? I'll block those four there. Okay. I'll take eight and Sahili takes four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, this six, this seven, doesn't have trample. Eight. I know. Oh, but okay. she, you oh, said these one. two. Yeah, these her. two. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um That thing was a nine She's four, a everybody. Alright. So those all trade. Trade. Did these three survive? Yes. Okay. Let's play this card, um, Centaur Vinecrasher, which is just a little 1-1 one, one with Trample, um, just much like a Charging Badger. Uh, <laughs> it enters with a number of plus one, plus one counters on it, equal to a number of land cards in all graveyards. Whenever a land card is put into a graveyard from anywhere, you may pay double green. If you do, you can return it to my, I can return it to my hand. So I have 
Right now, two land cards in my graveyard, and you don't have any, I would imagine. No. So this little fellow is a 3-3 Trampler. And I'll play a land card, Mountain Valley. Um, I suppose I could do... Th that's going to... Why not play Grapple with the Past? Why not? Okay. So, um, an instant, put the top three cards of library into the graveyard, then you may return a creature or land card from your graveyard to your hand. So, my graveyard's getting kind of impressive over here. <laughs> I'm going to put in Gaze of Granite, oh, geez, Forgotten Cave, and Skewed Mob! Skewed Mob! I get a land or a creature. So, we're going to probably take back this Rampaging Bailoths that we put in there before, even though Skewed Mob's so skewed. <laughs> okay. Ha! Go! My lands are out of control. Lord Windgrace, you know, he's a lord, so he is a landowning member of the gentry. All right, uh, I'll move to combat and I'll make a thopter. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and make a another servo. Okay. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I will play Bosch. Ooh. Iron Golem. What does Bosch do? It's a six, seven trample, three in a red, sacrifice an artifact. It deals damage equal to the sacrificed artifact's converted mana cost to any target. So Bosch can sacrifice Bosch. Yeah, to deal eight. Cool. Nice. Um, and that. Wait, I have to play land. Land. Go. That is everything. All right. Untap beasts, draw. Huh. Well, that's a wild card. Um, I'm going to. How many lands do I have in here now? <laughs> One, two. Oh, it just enters with that on it. Yeah. That doesn't matter. It's just a three, three. Okay. Uh. I suppose it does have trample. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm gonna try and destroy Bosch with my Wind Grace's judgment. Oh, yeah. it's his it's his very own judgment. Wow. Indeed. Um Removal. Have... That would be a nice thing if my deck had any of it. <laughs> let's I don't know what I'm just, let's just attack. I mean that's what we that's what we're doing here. Yeah. Who are you attacking? Let's let's do the same old double split. Two at Sealy, two at you. Um. Huh. Let's see. I'll go ahead and I'll uh. I'll chump this beast and take eight, and Sealy takes three. Okay. There we go. All right. Great. Um, I'm going to play Harrow, which I have to sacrifice a land in order to do it. But I search for two basic lands, one on the battlefield and one goes into my... Oh, both go on the battlefield. Maybe I shouldn't do that right now. Oh, well. Too late. <laughs> I will say that I'm like continuing to play this because I don't know everything that's in my deck. But also, I don't know how my deck is ever supposed to beat this. This is a pretty insane start. I mean, yeah. look at this. Look at these I lands. mean, I've also just, like, drawn... I don't know if my deck has removal. I assume And without it does. being able to remove anything, I'm, I just feel like it's like, well, I can make a bunch of, like, chumpers, but, like, that's all I'm doing all day. <laughs> it's got to be in there. Does it? I mean, you can't have a deck without it, right? Okay. That's uh, what I think, but I don't know about the person who built this. Seven, eight. We'll see. All right, I'm going to go up to five here. So now we're at 11. Yeah. I'm going to discard 
I don't know what, stitch together, draw. Okay, go ahead. All right. Maybe I just should have been taking a different tack this entire time, but I don't know. I don't know either. My beasts are formidable. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's start by... I'll play a land. Uh, I'm going to start by seeing if drawing a card does anything. No. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'll move to combat. I make a thopter. Yep. I'll attack Lord Windgrace just to keep him off of no! minus 11. Yeah. The ultimate's so sweet. Um, let's see. Uh, I will play one, two, three. First, I'm going to make a servo. Servo, activate. Yep. We should be naming these servos. We should. What do you name this one? Um, Dijon Mustard. <laughs> is that first and last name? Yes. <laughs> nice. This is my servo, Dijon Mustard. <laughs> uh, I'll play the Thopter Engineer. And... That comes with a thopter. thopter, and I will pass to you. Okay. Untap, draw this card. Ooh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that really is. Um, let's, yeah. I'll play Loyal Guardian. Look at this. Is, sure. We, we continue the beef party <laughs> by putting a plus one, plus one counter on everything. Jeez. <laughs> well, I'm done. <laughs> Enter the scoop phase yep. of this commander game. I don't know. Like, no, I'll be honest. Like, there was, like, I think around when you played the Rampaging Bay loss on, well, like, this... turn four or turn five. Yeah. And it's like... I felt like at that point, it's like, I don't think I'm ever. This card was the reason this. for the victory. Like, imagine I didn't have Rampaging Bayloss. Like, I guess I still can That's do a few things. That's true. But... Without so many beasts. Yeah. And it had Trample. That was pretty good, too. Yeah. Uh... Well, Lord Windgrace, you did it. You're a good kitty. Good do you want kitty. a fancy feast? Hmm? All right. Yum. <laughs> Let's try... Let's do it again. Let's try another one. Yeah. All right. All right, game two. Ready? Yes. I am on the play this time. Let's do it. I'll start out with the mountain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well that that is that's good. Um let's play Tranquil Thicket tapped. That's All a right. cycling land. So I'm not getting my value. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading this. Classic commander. First yeah. first couple of games of the deck. Yep. Don't know what this is. Uh I'll just play this as if boiler works and pick up my mountain. Go okay. ahead. Ooh. Let's play a mountain. And Megan, you may know this card. Kahini Heart Expedition. Yeah. Call me. Colony. Colony Heart. Colony Heart Expedition. Go ahead. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I put a quest counter on it, remove three quest counters from it, and sack it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. All right. Uh, I'm going to play this Vessel of Endless Rest. When it enters the battlefield, put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library, but there aren't any. So, And then I'm going to tap it to play a very controversial... Card. Ooh, controversy. Controversial commander card, Soul Ring. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, and Go ahead. So these decks come with Soul Ring. Yes. Um, but there are some play groups that choose not to play with Soul Rings because they feel like it's just like if you have one in your opening hand and other players don't, it's just way too big of a thing. Like it's way too much of an advantage. Sure. Um, that being said, your deck ramps so much. It really I does. I don't know that I feel bad about it. No, I think it's fine versus me for sure. Yava, my elder, is my play here. All right. Um, when it dies, I can search my library for up to two basic lands. Wow, this is becoming a theme. <laughs> Put them into my hand, then shuffle. 
I can pay two and sack it to draw a card. Nice. Go ahead. All right. What the heck is going on in this art? That's really cool. He's wearing antlers, but they're like fashioned into a deer and a wolf. Ooh, and has creepy. like an antler beard. That's pretty um, BA. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm. I think what I'm going to do first is... By first, I mean it's the only thing that I'm doing this turn. But here we go. <laughs> first and last. Because I'm going to cast the Healy. Okay. Uh, and I will plus her to make a Thopter. A Servo? I, that's what I mean. The worst Thopter. The worst version of a Thopter. And then... uh. I let me make sure. I think I pass back to you. Yeah, I pass back to you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Ooh, that's rude. That would be very rude of me. Maybe I should do that. Um. You gonna destroy my artifacts? Yeah, I think so. But I don't have enough mana to do it, so never mind. <laughs> You're safe for now. I see you. Mountain. And let's play. I have $4. This thing gets a counter. Seer Sundial. Um, okay. Whenever a land enters battlefield in my control, I can pay two and draw a card. Nice. Go ahead. Okay. So this is interesting. We were talking a little bit about how Lord Windgrace, if you draw the wrong half of your deck with him and you just have ramp, what are ways to get out of it? Well, one is using Lord Windgrace's ability, and here is another one with a Seer Sundial. Let's see. Uh, play an island. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull a Sahili. Mm -hmm. Make a servo. I do say that when we've reached turn four and you have not played a four four or a rampaging bay loss yet, I feel Yeah. I feel a lot better. <laughs> uh one, two, three, four, five. I'll play this Dark Steel Juggernaut. Ooh. Indestructible. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifacts you control. It attacks each combat of able. Wow, nice. So it is one, two, three, four, five. It's a five five. Five five. Indestructible. Yeah. My game plan. Go ahead. What is this card? Okay, well, no land draw except my Golgari Rot Farm. So I'm going to do that and return this mountain. This goes up to three. Um, I can potentially pay two to draw a card. What else am I doing this turn? No, I'll, do, I'll play this instead. Um, I'll play my Timber Sower here for three. All right. It's a 3-3 three, three Elf Druid. Whenever I play a land, or whenever a land's put in my graveyard from anywhere, I get an 0-1 green plant. I can pay green and sacrifice three creatures, return target land guard from my graveyard to your hand. All I'm right. a little engine here, and I'm going to do this. Remove three quest counters from my Colony Heart Expedition. Sounds good. You got to sack it, too. Goodbye. It does not just get to stick around. Really? That would be busted. Oh, you're right. Sad. Okay. How many? Two? Yeah. Let's get a swamp and a mountain. And they just go. They just That's go. another card I play in modern. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. They just go into play? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm done. All right. It's one of my favorite cards. Uh oh. Are you ready? I'm nervous. Are you ready for it? Can one ever be ready for what's about to happen? It's just a pilgrim's eye. <laughs> I love it so much, though. I, I was love expecting something very eye. scary. <laughs> oh, uh, Our life tracking uh, app. There was there no go. blood dealt no. yet. <laughs> There's no blood. No blood dealt. Uh, you may search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Um, I will get a mountain. You know, when I grew up, I said to myself, 
I want to be a rot farmer. Because if there's one thing I want to farm, it's rot. The little wish of all Golgari children everywhere. It's true. All those Golgari kids out there. Nobody tell them that rot just happens. You don't have to farm it. Rot. <laughs> if that's rot that, happens. Like, do you know what that's? <laughs> If ever I heard, uh, if ever I heard a motto, that's that's it. Um, okay, no, I'll plus to make a servo. Oh, there! I was looking for the seven on this six-sided die. I mean, I did it earlier. Everyone was watching what for what I was doing. Um, I might be out of servos. I have some. Okay. Oh wait, no, I only have thopters. Here, this one's a mirror. Uh, and then I have to attack with this. It is a one, two, three, Gross. four, five, six, seven. It's a seven, seven, indestructible. I only want to block with my Yab and my Elder. All right. Which was made to block. And now I go find two more basic land cards. They wow. go in your hand, though, right? Yeah, that, okay. those go to my hand. Um, that's kind of cool. Where are you, basic land cards? One, two. Um, And then... You know what? I'm done. Okay. So much shuffling in this deck. I will say that if you buy Lord Windgrace, you will be a shuffling machine by the end of it. <laughs> okay, so those go in my hand. Draw this card. How am I supposed to deal with this dark steel thing? I think the answer is I just simply can't. Um. These are all servos. One pilgrim's eye. That's not what I want to see. I suppose... Um, I love pilgrim's eye. It's so cute. It is so cute. I could blow up your soul ring. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Acidic slime will blow up your soul ring, I suppose. Okay. Goes to the graveyard. Um, And... I didn't play a land this turn, so I will play my forest, and that is going to trigger my seer sundial, and I might as well pay two, because I have nothing better to do to draw. Oh, interesting. Um, I have a 3-3. Three, three. You have all of these creatures. I'm going to attack with my... Should I, though? No, I shouldn't. Go ahead. My base mode is always to attack, <laughs> which sometimes gets me into big trouble. Wow. I just drew this cool thing. I got to read it. Ooh. Um, I'm going to make a servo. Yep. And then I'm going to, let's see. Um, Who would win? A bunch of sar servos and artifacts or one slimy boy? One slimy boy. I'm going to play Unwinding Clock. It's an artifact that says untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untap step. What? Nice. <laughs> Why did I blow up your soul ring? Oh, mistakes uh, were made. Let's see. And then I'm going to... Oh, let's see. I plus Sahili and made a servo. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight, eight. Eight, eight. Uh, I'll attack for eight. Looks like I'm taking eight. I need to start making some plants to um, jump over here. Oh, wait. And I'll pretend like I did the right thing and also remember this said flying. Yeah. <laughs> 21. Um, And then I will pass to you. Oh. I'll untap these. Gross. So gross. This is a this is a real combo here. Yeah, that thing and that. All right. Like I can't. My ground creatures could just like straight up never attack anymore. Um, indestructible. So rude. All right, I'm gonna play my dragon here. Okay. One, two, three. That's a big old four, five dragon. A giant dragon comes to play. 
and has a landfall trigger of making um, eggs that turn into two two whelps with fire breathing. I believe. Wow. Which is pretty cool. What a dragon. Yeah. Okay. And in fact, okay. I I shall play a land, and I shall make my a baby egg. Your child has been born, dragon. <laughs> Congratulations. And this thing's gonna. No, it's just been laid. Oh yeah. When it hatches. You you laid your child. That's oh, weird. Not a <laughs> fun statement. Uh, I'm going to uh, also make some more babies here with explosive vegetation. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now, right oh, now, God. things are kind of getting a little bit out of control. Now I don't know. Things are getting heated. There's a swamp, and I'm going to put it all on another mountain. And so now we have three ch- children. Um, go. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Do you know what? It's time for things to just get real weird. Ooh, I'm into that. That's my opinion. Um, two, three, four, five, six. One other egg. I'm going to play this sharding sphinx. What uh, is it called? <laughs> Shard. <laughs> sharding. <laughs> nothing, nothing like some potty humor yeah. on, our, on this video. 4-4 four, four flying. Whenever an artifact creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may create a 1-1 one, one blue thopter artifact creature token with flying. Whenever anything deals damage, you get a thopter? Yeah. Any artifact deals damage. Ooh, nice. But that's what they, most of them are. Sure enough. Um, <laughs> uh, we all heard you. All right. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to minus 7 Sahili. The so ultimate. She goes to one. Um, for each artifact you control, create a token that's a copy of it. Those tokens gain haste. Exile them at the beginning of the next end step. Wow. So okay. So I have like How many? I have four, five, four more six. of these. Two of I have two of these, two of these, and two of these. Okay. One of them has haste. Um, and then I'm gonna move to combat. Yeah. And yeah, I'll attack you right. with all of the tokens, and then also. There's no drawback here. Yeah, so you can assume everything's attacking once. And then um, also twice, except for one of these. Yeah, and then obviously this one. Oh, I'm deciding. I might like hold oh, some okay. stuff back. Okay. But you untap. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Well, <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I do have a death toucher, but like, I guess we're Yeah. Here. And well, the thing is, is that I get two thopter triggers for all of these. Okay, so... Two copies of all of these are attacking. Oh my god! Plus one copy of this. So there's like a little sphinxy, four four over here. Okay. Also. Okay. So this is this is the only one who's like not technically. Yes, exactly. Okay. And there is this is it. <laughs> there's two of these and two of these. Okay. And two okay. Of okay. 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 I don't know how else here. to say it. That's not this complicated. Will go there. The, uh, and you exile them at the end. This one has flying. Oh, yes. Okay, then I can't do yeah. that. That one's just going to get through. An egg will go there. Oh, my gosh. No, an egg will block the other one of those, I think. Okay. And the dragon doesn't want to block that thing because it'll die. Exile at the end of combat, so like, yeah. I don't want to waste. All right. Okay. Oh, I have one more so, egg. Oh, yeah. My other egg will block okay. that. So you're gonna so you're blocking okay, so this <laughs> the real four four gets yes, through. Yeah, that gets through. I make one thopter. One, two, three, four. Yep. Uh one pilgrim's eye gets through. Sixteen. I make another thopter. Yep. These both get blocked. Yep. These you and make these two both little dragon buddies. Coming to dragons. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. Um, Boom. And this pilgrim's eye that, died. That that died. Yep. Um and then one real mirror. That's so three thopters. Yep. And then, or one real servo, and then uh, four fake servos. Four, four fakes get through. Yeah. Eleven. Okay, and then two of these died that you blocked. Yep. This was an egg, so this is still an egg, everybody. Wait, I lost. 
four real servos. And then I get two trig- triggers. So that's... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get 14 thopters. Oh, my God. All right. Um, what a turn. And... It's your turn and all the tokens go away. Okay. All the and tokens go away. Untaps. You have 14 thopters. I'm yeah. going to draw. Hmm. Something also spicy is going to happen on this turn. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> wow. That I just seemingly had the perfect card for this such a situation. Um, for sure, landfall's happening and we're making a... Another egg, so two, yeah. two eggs. This thing, I don't know if I want to pay for that yet. One, two, three, four, five, six is what I need. One, two, three, four. Nah, I won't. Um, okay, so Whip Tongue Hydra is the play. <laughs> what happens? Which I think. No! <laughs> destroys all of your thopters. So you get 14, 15 counters. Yep, so it destroys every creature with flying and put a plus one plus one counter in each, for each creature destroyed this way. It's already a 4-4. Four, four. Also, it's all creatures with flying, so you lose these three. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sad. You get 14, 16, 15, 18. 16, 17, 18 counters. Okay, so Punterino, I should have I should have uh, an additional... Hum- oh, God. I'm trying to represent 18 here with 12... Um, I should have attacked with my dragons and my other other dragon before this all happened. Okay. Well, there you go. There's my enormous hydra. It does have reach. No, tra- no such thing as trample. So I still have two baby eggs. I'll play this blood tracker. That um, I can pay two life to put a counter on it, and when it dies, I get a plus one plus one counter for each. Plus one, plus one counter. I mean, I draw a card for each plus one, plus one counter on it. All right, so it turns out I should have drawn a card. You know, just think, you know, you know, we've, we've, we've made some errors. Um, and go. <laughs> oh. huh. Well, let's see. I'll go ahead and plus the Healy. Yep. I love the flavor text on this Hydra, by the way. Where'd all the birds go? (laughs) (laughs) All my beautiful servos. No, my thopters. Your thopters. All my beautiful thopters. Okay. Oh, I can do this now. Well, now this juggernaut doesn't even matter. I'll attack with it. Why doesn't it matter? Well, uh, you have something much bigger. Oh, I guess, but it's indestructible. But I want to make yeah. a flyer, I think. Okay. Um, I'll cast this prismatic lens. And uh, then I'll pass to you. Okay. Let's play a command tower. And I am going to pay this to draw. Hmm. I'm in blue. I'm supposed to have card draw. Where's my card draw? This is Megan's new crusade. <laughs> A new sade, as it were. It's true. So let's like attack, I suppose, with my vampire thing and this dragon. I'll sh- have this dragon at Sahili. Sure. Yeah. And I take two from this vamp? Yep. Oh, I also did that wrong. Let's cast Lord Windgrace. One, two, three, four, five. Plus Lord Wind Grace up to seven already, which is pretty cool. And discard the land card to draw two. Why? <laughs> Whee! Ooh, look at this card. Soul of Innistra. <laughs> Go. <laughs> what is this? Death touch. Return up to three target creature cards from your to hand. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I remember that, friend. Mm-hmm. My punt counter is high. Let's see. Um... Huh. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I have to attack with this. It attacks. Okay, I'll dragon egg block again. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna pass back. Okay. All right, everybody. Untap, draw this thing. Oh, okay, weird. Um, one, two, oh, no, that would be a bad idea. All right, combat. Go for it. I'll send in the flyers. Again, that one didn't even untap. Okay. And um, yeah, we'll we'll pump our dragons one, two, three, four, five times. You get to pump one of them five times. This one. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Six. Uh. Plus this again. Discard a land. Draw two. Wow. Dumb. I'll play this loyal guardian. Go. Um, at the end of your turn. I'm gonna flash in this ancient stone idol. Okay. Ooh, twelve twelve flash. Yeah. It has trample. Oh, uh, okay. When it dies, you make a 612. That's so weird. Hmm. Huh. Um. The Sahili Sai, they called it. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. I'll go ahead and cast the Healy. Wait, she costs two more now. That's still oh, what yeah. I want to do. Yep. Um, I will. Make a servo. Servo. What's this one's name? Um, cheese. <laughs> Are you hungry, Megan? Oh, Dijon no. mustard and cheese have been the two names of yours. That's true. <laughs> um, um, huh. Then I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wait. I messed that up. I didn't mean to make a servo. Okay. No servo. I was trying to... Wait, did I? Gosh darn it. <laughs> this reminds me of like playing Is It in Guilds of Ravnica a little bit where you just sit there and you're just like, wait, 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 wait. How, what is going how am on? I doing this? What order am I doing this in? I don't know. What's happening in my life? Okay. I'm going to plus her so that the next spell I cast costs one less to cast for each artifact. Okay. Um, so then I'll pay blue blue for Echo Storm. When you cast the spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander for the command zone. This game, you may choose new targets for the copies. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact. So I'll Ooh, copy nice. this. So I get the original, and then I've cast her twice. twice. So I get three, three. An <laughs> ancient stone idols. <laughs> All right. I, okay. I'm at 11. This is um, relevant. And then I'm going to use my mana left over for this retrofitter foundry. Uh, I can pay three to untap it, pay two and tap to create a servo, one and tap, sack a servo to make a thopter, and tap to sack a thopter, create a 4-4 four, four construct. All right. This has to attack. Yep. Block. Okay. Um, and I'll pass to you. All right. Now it untaps. Okay. Lord Wind Grace is at nine. I'll draw this thing. <laughs> um, okay, well, unknown if I, what, what I should do here. Um, one, two, three. 
past 10. That's not good. Okay, so I can... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana for this Emissary of Grudges, <laughs> which is also a great name. Sure. And I think his Lord Windgrace on secretly fire. Secretly choose an opponent. I will secretly choose Megan. <laughs> Six, five, uh, flying haster. And then it has some kind of text about yeah. stealing. You got it. A stealing an effect of an something. Effect. But that is not what I'm going to think about. And I wonder if I'm dead if I attack you. <laughs> Um, I just, or do I have 17, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my and God. And I can sack a servo to make a thopter. Oh, too. you can make a thopter. Yeah. Um, well, you know, let's, let's just do it anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll sack a servo. Okay. Make a thopter. Um, I'll block the. The emissary. The emissary. Yeah. So I take one, two, three, three four. four. Five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Yep. I take ten to go to seven. Take ten, go to seven. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> you know what? YOLO, Commander. YOLO. Don't, don't at me. I'm YOLOing over here. Oh boy. Well, I didn't even plus Lord Windgrace. Look at that. Didn't you? No. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I really thought you did. Okay. So this is 12, 12, 24, it's 48. Just... I have 48 power. Okay, great. I have whatever this 18, 19, 21, 22. But it can only on block one, one thing. On one thing. <laughs> I have one way to kill something else, but I still think I might be dead. If you can kill these two, I think... You might be fine. Like, you block one and kill one. Okay, well. Let's see what happens. Anyways, point is, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do. Is that what I want? Gosh darn it. Um, is that I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to plus the Healy um, so that I can pay two to draw four cards. Oh, nice. Tidings. One, two, three, four. Okay. Play a land. Um, and now I, I will attack you with all of these. Nice. And this and one that one, attacks. right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll putrefy one of them. I okay. guess the original. The original, and it makes a six, six twelve. twelve. Yeah. Trampler. Then another one of these. My giant hydra is gonna block one of them. And six. This one's a six twelve. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Ooh. Soak up that one. And the timber sword blocks the other one. So okay. I think I'm still dead. Wait, so here's this one's blocking this one. Yep. This one, these three are blocking that one. Because of the trample, shouldn't I just do it that way? Well, maybe not. I mean, the so way. I should block that thing with something. Yeah. You want to block this. Yep. These are out of commission. But if those are all your blockers, then this is still 12 power. Yeah. Because then I'm... This like, is 10, and this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow! Am I off by one? Oh, hey, this is a construct that's actually the real token. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's a clue attacking you. It's a oh, a clue. Clock. Yeah, right? Because 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that's 2. two. Yep. And then this is 10, getting over <laughs> this. <laughs> Oof. Wow! All right. <laughs> Got there. What a battle. <laughs> this was a this was a ba battle to end all battles. It really was. This felt uh this was 
a little bit more fun, at least for me, than the first one yeah. was. Where the first one, it was just like, it felt like I was getting run over. And this one, for a while, I was like, I'm winning. And it's like, Maria's winning. Yeah. I'm winning. It was a little Maria's swingy. Winning. This card was like. It was very swingy. Very cool. I had it in my hand from the beginning of the game, but nice. it wasn't really worth it to cast. But then once you made 14 Thopters. doctors, it was yeah. the greatest thing that had ever it been was printed. Awesome. I had a gaze of granite in my hand, which is really cool. Oh, yeah. And I drew this card a couple of, in both of the games, Moonlight Bargain. You can look at the top five for each card, put that card into your graveyard unless you pay two life and the rest in your hand, which I think is pretty neat. Yeah. Um, and I didn't get a chance to cast. I had another giant, like, trampler in my hand, Moldgraf <laughs> Monstrosity, which is just, like, horrifying looking. But Yeah. I felt like I was holding this Echo Storm from the very beginning of oh, the yeah, game. Oh, yeah. That's sick. And that's why I ultimated Sahili the first time in part because I was just like, well, I don't care if she dies because then I get more Echo Storm copies. Yeah. And then, let's see. So I got the... Yeah. And then... I drew this and I was like, I thought I was dead. And then I drew this and I was like, if I can make enough copies of this one, <laughs> we can get those final 11 points done. Awesome. Well, everybody, that's our double game. That's our double games. That's our double games. Like tennis doubles, but magic double game. We played two commander games and uh, yeah, overall thoughts on your deck. Uh, so I loved the synergies of it. Yeah. Um, I enjoy synergistic decks. I wanted more card draw. I always want more card draw, but especially in blue, when one of the things about blue is, as you can see, even in this case with the artifacts, like a lot of its creatures are a little bit underpowered. Yeah. And the, one of the ways that it blue makes up for that is by you just have more cards available to you. And I felt like I was, there were times when I was just ran out of cards and it's like, in blue, you never want to do that. Yeah. I personally never want to do that. Were you jealous of my card draw ability with Lord Wind? Yes. Wins? And you know, I talked about this on the podcast this week about how I was like, why do we keep giving colors other than blue card draw? Yeah. It is not fair. <laughs> but also it's like, yeah, like green shouldn't have big creatures and card draw. What's you get one or the other. Exactly. Yeah. So that's just, that's just my personal soapbox that I'm standing on right now. Who should play that deck? Um, you should play this deck if you too love synergistic decks. If you love doing some really silly things, like if you, I loved it in the second game being able to just be like, "There's to there's copies of everything, yeah, and they're all attacking, cool. like and you, here's a bunch of thopters." You made a plan. To you had a exactly. plan. You executed a cool plan. Yes, if you really enjoy making a plan, um, because again with like the Echo Storm and the Stone Idol and yeah. stuff, that was something that it's like if you like setting stuff up over the course of several turns and kind of navigating your way through the ins and outs of a game. Um, then you will you will enjoy this deck. Are you somebody that likes to swing with your beef? <laughs> so people who love to attack with creatures, big giant beefy dudes, get in there. That's yeah. what Lord Windgrace wants to do. Yeah. Do you like ramping and making even bigger, beefier dudes? This deck is for you. But yeah. also, it's really synergistic in an odd way that I don't think I've ever played with a deck like before. But you know, Windgrace synergizes so nicely. With um, his own plus one ability of uh, pitching lands to draw cards. For example, we have cards like um, Turn Timber Sower for three mana. Whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard, you create an 01 plant creature token. Yeah, pretty which great. Is pretty neat. And then, of course, the deck has awesome removal in it, like Lava Lanch, which is also a great name for a card. Sorcery deals X damage to target player, planeswalker, and each creature that player or planeswalker's controller controls. So yeah. yeah, there's excellent excellent removal in these color in these color combination, excellent creatures, and turns out great ways to draw cards too. Yeah. Lord I Wind would, Grace full package. Yeah. It seemed like uh I would say that like one of the things that I missed in my deck was removal. I looked through it afterwards and I found a couple of pieces, mm -hmm. but there just wasn't much of it. And if I were to be playing this deck regularly, that's probably one of the first things that I would do is I would look a little bit more at again, like red is only damage based removal. Sure. But that's fine. There's plenty of good stuff. Like Lava Coil is a new card from Guilt of Ravnica. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, a copy or two of stuff like that. Um so there's just a little bit more removal because part of the problem with it is that like I needed to keep my stuff around to get my synergies going and I couldn't do that if I was constantly having to like chump stuff to try and keep you know keep my life total sure. at an all right place and that's the great thing about these decks too is you can get them and play with them as they are but you can also augment them however you want yeah with cards from your personal collection or whatever and just keep it and grow it and change it 
over the years. But um, so we've now played the four decks. Yes. And I've got to say, I love these. Yeah, I had a great time. I was very impressed with them, too. Absolutely. Like you said, like Lord Windgrace's plus two. I was just like, that's absurd. Yeah, it's that's excellent. so good. And we had a lot of fun with the other ones, too. And yeah. Battling them against each other. And we could like swap out and say, oh, now I want to battle Lord Windgrace against Anamatu or whatever. Yeah. Aminatu. Amin- Aminatu. 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 That name. Her name is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you can swap and change and. Just whatever mood strikes you, pick up one of the commanders and play. Yeah. So what we're going to do is comment in this in this video below with your favorite play of the game. Make it not be one of my puns. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. It can be whatever you want. And we will send you one lucky person who wins these very decks that we played with today. That's right. Already in their beautiful sleeves and in their own deck boxes yeah. also. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you liked us, please, uh, you know, hit that sub button or head over to our patreon.com slash GLHF magic and throw a buck or two our way. Yay. Cool. <laughs> Finger guns. Finger guns. <laughs>